So hi and welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be doing a review of this and this is the Karcher Stubby Gun, Short Gun, Short Trigger Gun, I've heard them call various things but you know what it is, you, you've probably seen one of these before. Um, so they're coming out quite a lot of them recently, I've seen brands coming out with them on Instagram pretty much daily to be honest, they're becoming very very popular. Um, so in this video I'm just going to be kind of sharing my thoughts on it and um, what's my experience of using it particularly in comparison to the old Karcher gun that I used to have. Um, so this one I picked up from Into Detailing, it was £35, which is pretty standard. Um, so here's what it came with, so it came like this, um, it's got this here, which is like the collar where you pull back to do the quick release. It's got this, so this is where your pipe will go in from your Karcher, it's like a quick release system, so this will pull back and you can just slot the pipe in very quick. And it also came with these three nozzles, um, so we've got the white one, pick the right one, um, we've got the white one which is a 40 degree angle um, which is the widest one, we've got a green one which is 25 degrees and there's also a yellow one which is uh, 15 degrees. So you can also get a couple of others, um, there's a black one which is for if you've got like a chemical feed coming through and then there's also a red one which is a zero degree angle and um, some of them come with this, do not use the red one on your car. Um, it is way too powerful because um, it's just a, a sort of single jet there's no fan to it at all so don't use it on your car basically every website I've seen that sells them it said do not use it on your car so chuck it in the bin unless you've got another use for it um, but it shouldn't be on your car is what I'm trying to say um, so you've been warned don't try it um, but yeah so you've also got um, I'll grab it here so there's this so this is the quick release adapter so I've just got it sort of threaded into here now it's got PCFE tape on it so I don't want to unscrew this and um, you can see what it looks like and it'll just gonna screw into you your snow phone cannon and um, so they all kind of come with that and um, fitting and um, so those are the four things that it comes with and um, so what I'm going to be doing is showing you sort of plenty of clips and showing you it in action and um, so first starting off with the quick release system so it is incredibly easy and straightforward and for me an absolute Godsend, it's so much easier than the old cartridge system where it's just that sort of push and twist mechanism. Um, being quite weak and also having quite an old cartridge that was, you know, seen better days really it has. Um, I had an absolute nightmare every time I wanted to change from my foam cannon to the um, to the lance. You know, I had to push it against a wall and twist it and usually have to get help and then ended up throwing it down tantrum probably half the time but anyway this isn't like this this is miles miles easier it's so quick to change the um to change the different nozzles you're probably gonna have your favorites i've got the white one is generally the one i use sometimes i'll use the green one on the wheels or if it's particularly dirty and i want a little bit of that extra pressure i will use the green one as well and um, primarily i'm just switching between the foam cannon and whichever nozzle so the white or the green whichever i'm picking on the day the yellow one is a little bit too narrow, I, I don't know if it would be fine, I don't want to say you can wreck the paintwork, you know, they, they sell it and they don't give that warning like they do with the red one, but it is quite high pressure, um, so I prefer to just kind of err on the side of caution and go with something a little bit more passive um, and a little bit wider fan. Um, so another thing to kind of note is how you actually fit these, so you pull the collar back and then you push it forward and you've got to make sure it's locked in. Um, if you just pull the collar back and push it in, the collar isn't pushed forward, it's not in um, and when you pull the trigger and the walk comes through, that little nozzle will go flying at your paintwork. Um, so make sure you've got the collar pushed forward but also kind of good practice is just to do a couple of sprays away from the car whenever you actually change the nozzles on it. It's a good idea. It's not happened to me um, where it's gone flying at the paintwork but I don't want to be in that situation so I just give it a couple of sprays every time I change from the snow foam to the nozzle. Um, so in terms of actually using this, does it make life easier in terms of control? I'd say definitely. It's a lot easier to get into tighter areas like the wheel arches but just generally to feel more in control when you're using the foam cannon um, and also when you're using, sorry, just the just general sort of water and um, just the general nozzles. It's got a swivel gun basically so you can actually swivel this all the way around and that stops your sort of hose getting twisted and uh, which makes life a lot easier as well it also stops me throwing down the cartridge gun in a tantrum and uh, when it gets wrapped up <laughs> and i can reach about two meters from a car and um, so it does it does make life a lot easier that extra control you've got as well is definitely beneficial i think as well the trigger on it is quite responsive and um, it does feel nice 
the only thing it is a little bit tough um it's not tough you know it's fine I'm, I'm like i said i'm weak most people wouldn't have a trouble any trouble whatsoever with this cartridge standard one where you know you just push and twist i do so a little bit weak um but my hand can get a little bit sore if i'm going around the entire car and i'm not sort of letting it go every now and again um not a big deal but if you potentially were a professional you might find it a little bit annoying um if you're using it day in day out um so in terms of the build quality i'd say it's pretty solid and um, doesn't seem to be any noticeable sort of um, weak points on it or anything like that the only thing i will say is that this here is plastic i'd probably prefer if it, if, if it was brass and um, because it can get a little bit scratched up when you're putting it down and um, it's got a few like little scuffs on it and stuff like that but probably just me not really looking after the stuff i own to be honest and um, but the rest of it feels really good build quality feels solid it's reasonably weighty and um, it's not as heavy as when you've got a long lance on it and um, but it's, there's a decent bit of weight to it when you've got the foam cannon but you know like i said i'm weak and if i can use it go around the entire car with a foam cannon with one hand then it's probably not going to be that heavy is it and um, so i'll pop it down and um, so other things i wanted to say were sort of the cons of it what are the disadvantages of this in comparison to a standard cartridge gun is it worth making the 35 quid upgrade and um, one noticeable thing that it's not been a disaster for me um, and to be honest it doesn't really affect my life but one thing i will say about it is that it doesn't have any pressure control on the gun and um, so you know with the cartridge ones you can sort of twist them or even with the newer ones you can actually control it on the gun um, and control the sort of flow rate or the pressure and things like that with this you can't do that you put the nozzle on and it you know affects the fan but if you wanted to affect the pressure you'd have to go to your cartridge itself and go and twist that um that nozzle on the front and change the amount of pressure so it might be annoying for some people for me that constant level of pressure isn't particularly an issue and it's not something i've felt like particularly holds me back but i do think it's a disadvantage of it and um, like i said before the trigger it's reasonably firm and um, you know i suppose it stops you doing it accidentally and uh, if you're just kind of carrying it so i think it's probably quite the right level but like i said if you're using it constantly it's gonna probably your hand might get a bit tired um, it would be nice if it had some kind of locking mechanism in place so that you know I could just sort of click it into place and it say on and then just go on around the car or whatever and click it off you do have to keep it sort of pressed down and um, so I say that's a slight disadvantage and um, it also does have a lock on it and um, so I'll grab it again probably shouldn't keep putting it down and um, it does have this sort of lock so you know sort of an anti I don't know whether it's to stop you doing it accidentally but it does absolutely nothing and um, as you can kind of you see there and um, this is sort of a bit of a um, pointless piece of plastic on it if i'm totally honest i don't really understand what the purpose of that is if anyone in the comments can shed any light is it literally just so you don't pull it back like that if it is that then it doesn't do anything and um, so sh someone in the comments might be able to shed a bit of light on that for me um so I'll pop it down again um so uh, the, the disadvantage of a shotgun and you know you're getting this if you choose a shotgun is that you're going to lose that reach so if you were using it on say patio flags you know you're going to need a long attachment for that otherwise you're going to get a bit sort of sprayed in the face and um, you know if you go in cleaning vans like large vans or lorries you're going to need a longer attachment the good thing is that you can get a, an extension to buy with this but if there's that what you're primarily doing then it's probably going to waste some money to spend 35 quid on a shotgun and get an extension for it if you're buying a shotgun you're going to probably want it to be <laughs> remaining short um, so those are kind of my overall thoughts on this cartridge stubby gun definitely would recommend it it's made my life hell of a lot easier and um, just with the quick release mechanism it's so much faster and um, it's not annoying it's just really quick dead easy and um, the control you get from it as well i think it's definite advantage and um, the fact that it right, twists round and um, so it swivels so you know you, your hose doesn't get tangled constantly and um, it's a definite advantage so i do really like this a few sort of shortcomings with it but nothing really that i would say is even close to using your traditional cartridge gun it's definitely worth the upgrade if you are considering it and um, so like i said i will leave a link in the description to the one i got off into detailing so you can go and check that out and um, see so, you know i think it was 35 pounds when i bought it which check it's that they do like a deluxe version and things like that as well there's, there's various different degrees of sort of quality and price and um, i'd say that 35 pound one that i've got is probably going to be fine for 99% of people 
Um, I'm not seeing massive kind of upgrades. The only one I'm seeing really is that you get the black and the red nozzles that are effectively useless for most people. Um, so you're probably going to want to go with the cheapest one. So I'll leave a link to that one. Um, but if you've got any comments about this, have you got one yourself? What do you think of it? And um, was it worth the upgrade to you? And um, you've got any questions about this? Um, let me know in the comments. If you have enjoyed this video, it'd be brilliant if you could give it a like um, and subscribe for weekly detailing videos if you aren't already. Um, but thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.